Welcome to Vasomeritech Heal Your Heart EECP Treatment Center. One of the important or crucial or basic function of our body is to convert the food we intake into energy. If there is a disease which can interfere with this basic mechanism of the body, then it is very dangerous. Now, there is a disease and this disease is called diabetes. So once I said diabetes, everybody knows it. It's a lifelong disease. So once you get it, or if you are a diabetic patient, then lifelong you have to deal with the disease. In many times patient ask me, doctor, whether this diabetes is reversible or curable. Now this reversible and curable and most of the time is used interchangeably. Basically, uh, diabetes cannot be cured. And I will get into detail later. Is it reversible? Possibly yes in a relative term. It is reversible means the disease is there, but you can do certain things to control it efficiently. So without medication, you may able to control your blood sugar level, but your lifestyle changes back and then again the blood sugar level goes up. So that is why I said it is not curable. Even if you control, the disease is still there with you. It can come up anytime when you lose your track. So what is this diabetes? Since it's a lifelong disease, every patient should know the basic information about diabetes. So as I said before, when you start eating food, it goes into your guts. It breaks down into smaller particles and finally it is come as a glucose. It's a basic uh, carbohydrate molecule, glucose or we call it as sugar. So once it is uh, converted into glucose, it enters into the bloodstream after digestion. And in the bloodstream, finally it has to get into the cell and where in the cell it's again break down and then converted into ATPs or energy. Now there is one problem with it. So there is a digestion, the glucose enters the bloodstream. But uh, unfortunately the blood sugar or the blood glucose cannot enter into your cell without the help of a hormone. And this hormone is called insulin. This insulin has to come from the pancreas and there is a specialized cell in the pancreas called beta cell and this beta cell is the one which secrete the insulin into the bloodstream. So when there is a high blood sugar level after eating, this glucose somehow sends a stimulus to the beta cell to secrete the insulin. So the insulin comes into the bloodstream and then it sensitizes the cell. So due to some mechanism which is very complex which we want to go and which we don't want to go in detail it stimulates the cell and the cell now become receptive to glucose and take the glucose inside the cell where it is broken down and converted into energy now assume a condition where there is no insulin at all so the absence of insulin it could be about a thousand reason where the insulin is not secreted but you just understand there is no insulin at all in your body then what will happen is the blood sugar keeps on increasing in your bloodstream but it will not get into the cell to create energy so you are in a plenty of glucose a plenty of food but still you are starving so people with this condition cannot survive without insulin so this is called type 1 diabetes it is very common in younger age group around 5 to 10 percent of them are type 1 diabetes and they have to be on insulin to survive now there is another type of uh, diabetes also now this diabetes is called type 2 diabetes it is prevalent in almost 90 to 95 percent of the patients so this is what the common diabetes what you and me will be dealing with uh, these kind of diabetes patient yes there will be a secretion of insulin it could be normal or it could be inadequate but the problem is the insulin comes into the bloodstream as required. So when there is a high blood sugar level, the insulin is secreted, it comes to the bloodstream. But unfortunately, the cells which are supposed to be very sensitive to this insulin and once insulin is in the blood, which is supposed to take the glucose from the blood inside the cell, refuse to do so. And this is called resistance or insulin resistance. So what is this insulin resistance? So this is usually a lifestyle disorder. So this insulin resistance is predominant or more commonly seen in people with poor lifestyle. Poor lifestyle means we define as three things. They are obese, sedentary, lack of exercise and uh, also bad food habits.
so all together it is called lifestyle disorder and people with this lifestyle disorder have resistance to insulin so this is called type 2 diabetes so it is very important for patient when they are diabetic first important thing is they have to control these three factors and once they control the three factors and still the blood sugar level is very high they are not able to control then they have to go for a medication or insulin விருதுகை நோயாளிக்கு வந்து பைபாஸ் சர்ஜரி ஆஞ்சியோ பிளாஸ்டிக் சிகிச்சை முறை தான் முன்னாடி கொடுக்கப்பட்டுள்ளது இதற்கான மாற்று சிகிச்சை முறை வந்து இசிபி என்ஹான்ஸ்ட் எஸ்டர்னல் கவுண்டர் பல்சேஷன் ஹீல் யூர் ஹார்ட் வேசோமெடிடெக் இசிபி ட்ரீட்மெண்ட் சென்டர்